Hey, thank you for joining us. I am Ty Comer, the editor of Billboard.com, and I am thrilled to be sitting here with the awesome Paramore today. Hello. Thanks for joining us, guys. What's up? Hi. Now, we're here in a secret conference room at NBC Studios where the band is just, a just about to film a performance for the Jimmy Fallon Show tonight. So uh, tune into your local listings to find out when you can see that. But right now, the band is going to be taking some of your questions live. The way this works is you tweet your questions into Billboard.com using hashtag BBLiveChat. I will capture those questions using the motor blur service, and then I put the band on the spot. So tweet away, and uh, you might get your questions answered live. Um, in case you're just stumbling onto the broadcast and have been living under a rock for the past few years, Paramore has completely blown up over the past five years since they started. Um, their 2005 album, All We Know Is Falling, kicked things, kicked things off. 2007's Riot kicked things up a notch. Then there was that little song called Decode off of the Twilight soundtrack that completely blew the doors off of the Paramore sound system. And um, they took a little time off and now they are back. Um, they have a brand new album, which was called Brand New Eyes, that yes. came out in 2009, went to number two on the Billboard album chart, and they just started a world tour that's going to take them all across the globe, including your town this summer. So before we get to the tweets, I want to talk about that. How's the tour going so far? It's good. We're only like two dates in, and uh, the show's been amazing. We're hitting a lot of cities that we've never been to on this, on this tour, and it's our first U.S. tour of the year, so we're having a blast. Now, you kick things off in your home state of Tennessee, right? Yes. It must have been nice to uh, start things in your own, in your home state for a hometown crowd. Yeah, we it was cool. We had a lot of friends and family. Now you're playing a lot of big shows on this tour. You've got Bamboozled coming up this weekend. There's um, some big European festivals happening throughout the summer. What are some of the dates that you're really looking forward to playing? Um, well, yeah, we're really excited about Bamboozle, I and mean, we've played that festival a lot. Um, to uh, to be headlining it is incredible. I mean, we're actually really nervous because <laughs> we're like the last band, which is really crazy. But that's I think we're all really excited about that. You know, being kind of so, like so early on other festivals, so yeah. that's cool. We're um, we're also we're playing with Green Day in France, which is kind of crazy. I mean, yeah, it, it'll awesome. be like our first like stadium show, mm -hmm. and um, and plus we get to play with Green Day, so that's pretty cool too. <laughs> Now, a lot of critics have said, and you guys have agreed, that the new album has really brought you to a new artistic level. Um, how has that maturity translated to what you're doing on stage now? I feel like these songs are, um, I mean, we, I feel like we made it a point to focus a lot on uh, the live aspect when we were writing Riot, mm -hmm. almost more so than we did with Brand New Eyes, but Brand New Eyes seems to translate like effortless, effortlessly to the stage, like more more so than any of our other albums, and and it was cool because we didn't really, I mean it's not like we weren't thinking about it because we are a very live band, like that's you know we're really passionate about our live show, but these songs just really naturally came together and work so good live, it's it's amazing, and I feel like there's a lot more parts that are like sort of sing along type of parts with our fans, you know, for like I don't know they're really interactive and and fun to play. Mm -hmm. 